Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to make the simple syrup which is the sugar sauce that we use a lot in making the uh, Syrian sweets and uh, this is very simple it's only basically the basic one is or the plain one uh, it's all about three ingredients uh, which are the sugar and the water and citric acid or the lemon juice uh, any one of them is is fine. Any one uh, available. If you don't have the fresh uh, lemon juice, you can easily use the citric acid. And actually, this is very convenient, especially when you don't have any citrus around or something like this. And it's always available in your uh, kitchen, uh, so we can use it. The um, the most important thing is the uh, amounts. So any amount, any given amount of sugar, you should use half of it uh, of water. For example, as you can see, I have two cups of sugar and I'm using regular cups, not the measuring cup. So any container you are using, just make sure to make the same um, measurement in the same uh, container you are using or the mug or the cup, whatever you are using. And so we have two cups of sugar. With the same cup we have one cup of water. I have less than half teaspoon of citric acid or one tablespoon of lemon juice. We can use either one. That's fine. So this is the three ingredients for the simple one, the plain one. But if you uh, want to add any flavor, I'm gonna show you in a while the kinds of flavor you can add to the, your syrup. Now I'm gonna start on a high heat. I'm gonna add the. I will start with the water. I'm gonna add the cup of water in the box, like this. Then slowly I'm gonna add the sugar, two cups. The second one, and we will start uh, to heat. And when it starts to boil, we, I'm, I'm going to add the citrus uh, juice or the citric acid. So as you can see now, I'm going to stir slowly. The point is I don't want any sugar uh, crystals to be on the sides because in that case I have to brush it with some water down. So you can avoid the whole thing by just stirring very slowly and carefully. And that's why I've add, added the water before the sugar. Like this, slowly. I'm gonna wait till it boils. To add the citric acid. Now I want to show you what uh, did I mean when uh, the uh, sugar crystals are here. Let's say for example we have like crystals here, sugar here uh, on the side and uh, we can dissolve it again. So we will bring a brush with little water like this and we brush the side like that to dissolve the crystals, the sugar on the sides. So it's boiling now. I've reduced the heat to uh, low and at this point I'm gonna add the lemon juice or the citric acid, anyone uh, available as we mentioned, like that. And stir. So why we add this? Uh, to prevent the sugar from making crystals inside the syrup and to stay liquid all the time. Now we will leave it for 10 minutes uh, and uh, before that, uh, at this point also you can add some flavor but not all of them. I'm gonna explain to you the kinds of flavor uh, which is suitable to uh, add at this point. So the syrup is boiling now, meanwhile uh, let me show you the spices and the flavors we can add. We can add one stick of cinnamon, we can add the anise seed the regular or the star one. We can add some cloves, you can add some cardamom if you want and uh, of course we can add the zest of one lemon or uh, orange. 
and also there is two uh, delicious flavors uh, which are the water the rose uh, water the rose water and uh, the blossom uh, water you can find it in the Mediterranean grocery stores or online and uh, uh, there is a very important uh, tip for you here if you uh, choose to use any of these the cinnamon cardamom zest or something like this you should add them at the beginning when the sugar starts to boil to let them boil with the sugar and to get out all the flavors from them but for the uh, uh, rose water or the blossom water you should finish the syrup first and switch the uh, the heat off and then add them uh, because otherwise you will get a better taste it's not that good and um, i will see you when the syrup is ready now it has been around 7 minutes it's boiling I'm gonna wait till it completes uh, 10 minutes and then it will be ready I'll show you how to store it to use it later you can keep it in the fridge to use it anytime and now the simple syrup is ready this is the uh, texture like that and I'm gonna store it in either the uh, jar, this one is sterilized, or in a bottle like this. And keep it in the fridge and I can use it anytime. Today uh, I made the plain one. You can add any flavor you wish to add. Gonna empty the whole amount. This is the sample syrup still warm a little bit keep it open till it uh, completely uh, cool then put it in the fridge and uh, thank you for watching see you next time bye bye